everybody, welcome back to another Sumi Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Thank you so much for joining today. All I've got to say to you is Sumi Smiles and Squad Goals. Thank you so much for clicking into our Shay video and for joining me. I'm thrilled to have you here today. Today we're just having fun and I'm glad to have you here. I'm doing a brand new review on some gear I just got and I'm super excited to have you here for it. We're going to be talking today about the se p by Shield, take a look at this. We've got it in hand. I am so freaking excited. I hope wherever you're watching from, whether you're a brand new user or one coming back for a little more, you're ready for this because it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited to be talking about Mike's product that he just barely came up with. This is the half um, DE razor blade um, single edge safety razor that he's just developed. It's amazing. I absolutely am. I'm thrilled. I'm super excited to talk about it, about this unique clamping mechanism, right? Someone has finally done it and I'm excited to talk about why I love this. I am really excited. Titanium under a hundred bucks. This is the review and the product I'm telling you that we have been waiting for in the SE world. At least I have been waiting for. I am super excited. I can't, I'm going to have a hard time holding it back today. The, uh, the excitement's off the charts and I'm really, really, really happy to be demonstrating, showcasing and talking about this freaking awesome. Look at this thing. Gorgeous absolutely stunning titanium long lasting like right lifetimes of lifetimes safety razor oh it's gonna be awesome i'm thrilled today we're also going to be showcasing using and i have to cut this in doppelganger plum i'm really excited to be using this today one of my favorite scents right now that's currently at phoenix artisan accoutrement's website doppelganger plum absolute banger it's smoky it's spicy and i'm telling you it packs a punch really enjoy this one it's got this um fruity note to it that screams nightclub to me i love the scent i had a friend reach out to me and say hey soups you got the label upside down and i was like look at it again and then he's like never mind this is a really interesting, fascinating, like into the Yang label. I love this. It, for me, the scent, I, it smells like a nightclub, but I know that the Doug was like aiming for like a tropical paradise. I've read the description. I, I, I absolutely agree. I think I could see like, you know, like a nightlife on the beach, maybe. I, I really like this a lot. The, uh, nightlife on like a boardwalk. I think boardwalks probably like, you know, the, the dark lit like uh, lamps and things like that. I think it'd be nice. I just got, I envision this night scene with this scent and I really enjoy this again doppelganger plum it's a uh, actual tribute it's inspired by tom ford and it's a uh, plum japanese it's tom ford's um, plum japanese let me show you the lather here today because i was absolutely thrilled i was super excited with the amount of shine and water that this water took on or that the soap took on really beautiful and can we just mention the shield razor um handle here this is the he mike actually creates these this is his brush handle it's made out of titanium and then he goes in and artistically kind of um, creates his own canvas right he uses the titanium as a canvas and makes his own painting how freaking cool is this i love this i think it's beautiful and for a shave soap brush come on get out of here and it's titanium so you can just get that long lasting quality material for life and you know that brush is going to be one you can pass down really cool concept and what i really like about this Look at how it paints, so nice. And it's a threaded ferrule on the brush, so you can actually change the knots out by just unscrewing it. Really like this one a lot from Shield. Again, this is Mike over at Shield. He has just created an AliExpress. I wanna talk about it. He just created an AliExpress so he can sell direct to customer, right? Because I had some people reach out to me and say, is this AliExpress legit? It's legit and it's Mike's. It may seem small, but it's a one guy operation, right? He's running the webpage himself over on AliExpress. It is legit and you can get his razors through that portal, right? That's really the place. I know Bull Goose will be also offering these razors um, on their website, but it, it, they do not offer like the same uh, like options. If you go over to AliExpress, you can actually order this in pieces, which I think is really cool. I love that concept. Like if you want to just order the head, you can do that. Or if you want to order like a handle from him, you can do that. Or if you want to mix and match like the gem styled head with a different handle, he'll let you do that. I wanted to showcase because we do have the full lineup and I am just absolutely honored and I feel just so fortunate to have the privilege to showcase the full shield lineup today. We've got the SE-P on my right here, which has got the DE razor blades. And then we've got the AC variation, right? The AC, the SEP that uses the AC. 
Take a look here. These The P stands for polished, by the way. And he does do an M, which is matte. He will sell both options. I really like the clamping mechanism on this razor. And I mentioned that it kind of reminds me of a Wolfman been cut in half. When I saw this, I said, that's almost like Wolfman had its like design taken and chopped in half and then kind of re-engineered so that the back of it can create pressure to hold the blade in place. What a cool clamping mechanism. And I, I kind of sat there this morning astounded. I was just like befuddled. I, my brain couldn't take it. How fascinating his clamping mechanisms really are. And that just showcases what Mike does and why Mike's incredible and why he deserves this long winded, very over the top shout out because he is doing stuff out in China, right? That is really interesting and fascinating in the shaving world as far as engineer um, engineering concepts out of titanium. Again, this is the gem razor and we did a video on this, but I blowtorched mine. I actually took the SCP, the, the polished version of the gem, and I just went to town with a blowtorch and had so much fun doing it. Yes, we, we learned some things. We learned some things, um, but I really enjoyed this project and it's a beautiful razor. And again, all these are made out of titanium. I think the, the, the coolest part for me is you get like a set up like this right let's get the let's get the colors on this look you gotta see this this is crazy look at the coloring here really cool right with the blowtorch i like that but you can get this razor right here for under a hundred bucks and that's that's fascinating to me you can get you can just buy the pieces the head cap 60 bucks 60 bucks for a head cap in titanium that's fully ready to for a shave for a lifetime i you can't get stainless from most companies at that price. I think that's crazy. It's super, super good. And AliExpress will sometimes offer like, you know, $5, $10 discounts. So you can probably use something over at Ali, especially if you're a first time purchaser, to get that lower. And again, I don't have a, an affiliate link. I don't have a subscription with Mike. I just want to give him this shout out because I do feel like you go over to that webpage on Ali and you're like, I don't know about this. But it is legit and he is selling and they are beautiful. Absolutely stunning, right? I, I just, I can't get over it. Love the work that he does. And these things like this, come on. I had never seen anything like this in titanium and for a shave wear, right? This is a piece of shave gear. The comments below. I would love to know your thoughts. I think it's really cool. And he does a lot of them. He does one that's made of like wood. The design's actually inspired around like wood. So you can get titanium that looks like wood. I'll have a photo. They're incredible beautiful pieces of art. Today we're going to be using the SEP. We are going to do the shave, I promise, but we are going to be using the SEP and I do have some Wismet Super Radiums loaded into it for a, four, a shave that's got 48 hours of growth. So we're not just shaving on one day. It, on the face, it felt unbelievable. At the end of my neck shave, I actually gasped. I was like, this is incredible. It's super smooth. It does have 1.15 uh, gap on it and it does have positive exposure. So you're getting some performance. I won't lie. You're getting performance but it's very smooth, very like enjoyable. It's not irritative. And my favorite part is he rounds the edges. Uh, he gives the edges facets. That is what we need. We need razors with facets that come that way. Love, love everything about this. I'm gonna showcase, and I'll have this kind of going with the rest of the video, but I will have um, kind of shown the different brands of SE dash um, P, like S, the D E slash S or SE slash D, right? As I was all referring to it as with um, half D E razor blades, right? I tried to showcase some of the more popular ones. You got the Thorn, you know, I grabbed the Yachi variations. You know, we grabbed a couple of these. I wanted to showcase kind of the, the similarities, but then the obvious glaring differences, right? This one is more narrow. It is like almost like that Wolfman-esque. So what you end up getting is a steeper front with a more narrow top. It's an interesting angle on the skin. Let me show you. I really, really like the version that I'm holding in my hand. The titanium is super nice. It's really well balanced in the hand. I love the new handle design he's come up with, with this rivet on the bottom here. That is awesome. That is like, a, like an old type-esque kind of fill in the hand, but with the titanium, it's nice, light, and balanced. The grip for me is like right here in the center, right here. The balance is phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie, the balance because it's titanium, very, very nice. It does have some blade fill to it. So I would definitely say this is more like low, medium, aggressive, but it definitely, it feels smooth. Very much like the Wolfman to me. Reminds me very, very, very much of the Wolfman. The difference for me is that when you're shaving like this with the um, SE like style, right? You just, it has a different uh, leading forwardness to it on the actual razor portion. And I like that for head shaves. It just feels very natural as it's going across a rounded surface. Wow, as a, as a, as a head shaver, 
honored, honored and absolutely thrilled because it's a phenomenal head shape. That has very little blade fill. I mean, marginal enough to know it's there, but not so much you're flinching, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's got the performance to get on the like those hard spots. Oh, this is a win. And that's I was kind of flabbergasted. That's the word I would use. I was super astounded at how smooth that was and how well it glided from some of the other SEs that I've used, right? Just recently, I purchased this Mars one from the DCS Cosmetics. I haven't even talked about it because I was so, so let down with that brand versus this. And I told Mike that. I said, you know, some of the other companies that are releasing um, razors, they're not taking edges off. They're not, you know, rounding things. They're not designing things to feel comfortable on the skin just inherently. And he's like, yeah, well, I, you know, I'm an engineer and I, I understand, but I'm also a shaver. You know, he said, you know, I understand how that's supposed to work, but I'm also a person that shaves my head. And he's like, it's really important to me that it feels good. He's a fellow head shaver. And I think that's why Mike's products kind of come across as being ideal for dome shaving. I don't, they've all felt really good on my dome. And I think it's because he is a fellow dome shaver that kind of builds his razors around his experience. I love that he is a hobbyist and kind of like, like, like us, right? He's one of us. And I love that. He's a fellow wet shaver that's designed and making razors out of titanium. I can't think of a better person that I'd want to um, purchase razors from than Mike. He's really hardworking. He's a person that's committed. I mean, he's the, if, if you post on Instagram, he's the first person to comment and like your photo for sure. He's just a guy that's really caring. And I've seen that across the craft. He's got a huge, um, I would say a huge friend base because he's just a nice guy. I love this product. I think that's phenomenal. I'm not even like paying attention to how much is coming off. It's just like deleting the stubble. It's running all over the place. It feels amazing. It's just buttery, buttery. Oh yeah, really good. Very, very comfortable. I love that Mike offers the option too to kind of just order his by pieces. Say you've got that timeless handle that you love, right? But you want to get one of Mike's razors. You can just buy the head, and I think that's amazing. A lot of these upper um, tier brands, they don't offer that. And I love that Mike still feels like he's like a small brand, even though he's fabricating at this level. Just, I love all of that. That's, that's great for the consumer. It's great for the people that are wanting to try something new, right? Say you want to try a gem razor, but you don't have the money to really go searching, right? Like you don't want to buy a Wolfman, right? You want, But you want something really nice and you don't want to work with vintage, right? I think that's the other thing with gem razors is that there's a lot of options that are vintage, but when it comes down to getting one that's modern, you're kind of you're kind of set with just one or two. And I love I love Mike's Predator. I won't lie to you, Mike's Predator, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Oh my goodness, the stuff the the, the the soap can't even stick to my head anymore. It can't even stick to my head anymore. Absolutely flawless, beautiful, just elegant, really smooth shave with the SE P. Loved every second of getting to use this on channel with you. Thank you so much for joining me. This was so fun. I had a blast. It was a great razor to try out. This was the first time I'd ever tried it. This was a complete, just you know, <laughs> call it like a call it like a first impressions video, right? That's exactly what we got going on here. It's like it feels like a first impression with the SE P, and wow, did it impress! Smooth that right there. Excellent. Loved every second of that the soap at the end couldn't even have it didn't have anything to grasp onto it was just running love everything about that shave with the se p this is what i've been telling uh people for years is that i would love to see a company that makes a good de razor cut that sucker in half and just give us an se that uses half de but it doesn't seem that hard to do and mike finally was like you know watch this watch this and he used a design right if you ask me this is similar design right to one of the razors that I love, the one of the smoothest, all time, most enjoyable shaves I've ever had, that Wolfman shave, you know what I mean? But you combine it with this in titanium, that balance, oh, that was very, very good. I enjoyed that quite a bit. And again, huge shout out to Mike and thanks to Mike for not only sending this, he did send this to me for review purposes. He sent it to me and goes, I don't even care if you do a review, I just want you to know, you know, I watch you and I hope you like the, the razor. 
I was like, dude, of course I want to talk about it on channel if it's awesome. And it is awesome. And that's the biggest part for me is that all the razors I have used from him have been phenomenal. They sound long-winded and just like a bag of air, I know. But it's true. I like this so much better on than even the Saber. This for me was a shave that I was like, that's what that's what Blackland needs to do <laughs> right there. That right there, it, titanium, it just lightens that head and it makes it glide. Love the AC razor. He designed an AC razor that also uses injector blades. It will use an injector blade and an AC blade. And I reached out to him. I was like, it uses both? He goes, yeah, it uses both. I designed it to use both. This is cool. I, the, the ideas that he comes up with are fantastic. And you can just see innovative. I think the product was awesome. The shave was incredible. And it's going to last for, you know, lifetime and lifetimes to come. Oh, that was, I, I can't stop. I just really enjoyed this. Again, huge thanks to Mike. And what, a, what an awesome, awesome opportunity it is to use a razor that's really designed and has been used by somebody with a bald head, right? Somebody that's also bald is making a razor. I think that's phenomenal. I think that really helps put him in the same kind of mindset as us, right? And even if you're not shaving your head, right? You're shaving your neck. Places like this are hard to get with some safety razors. And this, I, I almost feel like he kind of focuses on those harder to get areas with his designs. Oh, plum japonais on the face and the dome. That cinnamon note's really starting to come in as the um, splash kind of rests, right? As I leave that bottle open, I'm getting that cinnamon saffron. And I almost notice when I put it to my skin, it's cinnamony, right? So I just want to mention, prepare yourself. It is a Fabulous, lots of projection. That plum note really is lifting everything. Smoky, spicy, fruity excellence. I love Doppelganger Plum, and it is going to be on Doug's website. If you want to help the channel, you can go below and use the link, and that does help our channel to do things like this. But honestly, this video was so much fun and it was so enjoyable and it was with a product that I had no experience with but I knew the person behind it and I knew it was going to be awesome because of that huge shout out again to Mike and thank you all for being here making the channel happen and making every day awesome I love being able to do this and I love being able to do it with all of y'all so thank you so much and until I see you again I'm going to enjoy a bald head and a beautiful shave soups out <laughs>